Hey guys! So today's video is going to be an empties haul and I'm super excited because I know a lot of you guys love my empties hauls and have been requesting it. So all this stuff has been collecting exactly when I ended my last empties haul. So let's get into it. Let's get started. Um, I'll start with hair stuff. Okay, I have one of my favorite shampoos. This is Matrix Biolage in the Volume Bloom. I absolutely love, oh, it, I cannot believe I just saw this, but it says for fine hair, and that's exactly what I have, so maybe that's why I love it so much, I don't know, but this shampoo is so, so amazing, I have already repurchased this like five different times, and I, like it smells really good, it kind of has that typical, um, like, biolage shampoo smell, it truly does give you tons of volume it really is also clarifying and i just love this so much i think i'm still using this and it's in the shower right now but yeah such a good good shampoo i don't think i've, I've tried the conditioner of the volume bloom but the shampoo is one of my favorites okay all right next is another shampoo this is the Bedhead Dumb Blonde shampoo, and I will not be repurchasing this one. I don't know if it was supposed to like brighten your blonde, like tone it. Uh, it smells good though. It has that typical like Bedhead delicious, like tropical fruity mm, scent. It did have like a purple tint to it, uh, kind of like the bottle, but it definitely didn't like brighten my hair or tone my hair. Um, I mean, it was a good shampoo. It was definitely a good shampoo, but there's better. It was, it was a good shampoo, but I just won't be repurchasing it. Okay, I have two other shampoos. These are also one of my like all-time favorites. They're pretty new to me. These are from the brand Ion, and this one is the Lux, and this one is the Thickening. These are so great. I absolutely have fallen in love with the Ion brand. I absolutely love these. I randomly got these because I was at Sally's Beauty Supply and I think they were having like a shampoo and conditioner sale. This Ion brand just looked really really interesting to me so I tried it and I think I tried the thickening one first and I absolutely love it. It's kind of similar to the Biolage one. It really does thicken your hair and it's clarifying. It just makes my hair feel so good. It also smells really good. Mmm smells so good I definitely will be repurchasing that one and the Lux one is also really good I just like the thickening one a little bit better um this one smells really really good it smells kind of Lux like very kind of like perfumey like mm. it's a really really good shampoo though um I think I just like the thickening line a little bit better okay I have another shampoo and this one is from the brand Fido and it's the Fithiol Oily Hair Purifying Scalp Exfoliating Shampoo. I am so disappointed with this. This was like way, way too expensive, completely overpriced. This is, what is this? This is a 6.7 ounce bottle. I just was so disappointed with this. It exfoliates your scalp. Um, I don't think it does any of that. It's, it, it just didn't do anything for me. Like, it didn't even wash my hair good. For something that is, you know, this is a really expensive brand. I think I got this online at Sephora like a long time ago. It, just absolutely not worth it. Not good. Didn't wash my hair good. Didn't, it definitely didn't exfoliate my scalp. Definitely not repurchasing this one. Okay, so I'm going to be really honest with you guys and I... I just wanted to show this because I know it will help some people out there but sometimes I have scalp problems and I get like like a like dandruff basically but it's it's like an itchy scalp and then it like kind of turns into dandruff I don't like to talk about it but I want to show you what I use because it works so well and it's just like heaven sent I have tried basically every single 
dandruff shampoo like at the drugstore like I have tried every single one of them I've tried every single one of uh, head and shoulders I've tried the tea gel I've tried all the Neutrogena ones I've tried all of them okay this is the shampoo that I use this is the Nizoral it's an anti-dandruff shampoo controls flaking scaling and itching perfect and the ingredient in here is the keto I'm not even, what, why am I trying to pronounce this okay the ingredient in here is what does it for me it really really my scalp loves this ingredient I don't know what it is a long long time ago when I first you know was using this ingredient I was actually getting it prescribed from my dermatologist I don't know how I found out about this I must have researched it or something but you don't have to get it prescribed from a doctor because you can get this from CVS you can get this from Target I'm sure you can get it from Walgreens oh it's like thank God right it's not like the best smelling shampoo I mean it's not supposed to be you know good smelling it's medicine for your scalp because you really need it you just put like a little bit on the affected areas you don't have to put it like all over your hair and all over your head um, for me it's just basically like the back of my head and you leave it on for like as long as you can it, just five minutes tops I use it after I shampoo and it works it works so 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 well it completely takes away any dandruff my scalp doesn't itch at all I know for a fact this works because when I don't use it my scalp is itchy it's irritated I really wanted to show this because this is like a miracle product it's so so good so good and I definitely have already repurchased this okay now on to conditioners I have one of my favorites this is the bedhead number two conditioner um, what's like the name urban antidotes recovery um, number two conditioner and I absolutely love this the smell is probably one of the best smelling conditioners I've ever smelled it's just really really good and you, you can find these really really cheap at Marshalls and TJ Maxx this is such a good conditioner I have not repurchased this yet because I have other conditioners that I need to go through first but I will repurchase this in the future it's such a good amazing moisturizing shampoo so good I have two more conditioners and these have very very quickly become my holy grail conditioners oh my goodness okay for so long I have been wanting to try the it's a 10 um, conditioners but I just haven't because they're pretty pricey but let me tell you something they are completely completely worth it to me so this one is the it's a 10 miracle daily conditioner and this one is the it's a 10 miracle deep conditioner plus keratin oh my gosh okay honestly you don't need both of these honestly if I were to pick it, it probably would be this one I love both of them so much I actually um, mix them in the shower like I do just a couple pumps of this one and then just like a little I mix it together and oh my gosh these are the best conditioners I have ever used honestly I have such crazy like tangly unruly hair especially in the shower and these detangle my hair so quick and so nice and it's super super moisturizing oh my gosh and the good thing about both of these you only need like a tiny bit and I have pretty long hair and I only really need a quarter size and that's really weird for me I've been so used to using way 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 too much conditioner but I've always felt like I've needed it because it never like detangles my hair enough I know I've always felt like I've needed to use way too much but with this you need the tiniest bit amount I have already repurchased both of these love these so much so worth the price so worth the hype it's amazing amazing okay I actually have a lush product that I don't really like and that's so sad because almost every single lush product I have loved and it's crazy because this is such like one of their best sellers but this is the big sea salt shampoo and for me I did not like this <laughs> it was really weird it's a shampoo that has like really big chunks of sea salt in it and what it does I guess it's supposed to you know you're supposed to like massage it into your scalp and it's supposed to like exfoliate your scalp and 
clarify and do all that good stuff but for me it like it it, it felt bad <laughs> and I wasn't really scrubbing hard with the salt and it it was like burning and it, it, it felt like it was scraping my scalp I don't know maybe I have like a really sensitive scalp maybe that's what it is but I, I just it was really weird and it was very it, it wasn't really like sudsy it, it didn't really lather it was kind of just like a cream with chunks of salt in it for me it didn't work but I know it works for a ton of other people because this is so popular um, but I will not be repurchasing this one I have three dry shampoos okay the first one is this detox dry shampoo from dry bar I absolutely did not like this and it's not because it didn't work well I, I'm sure it did work well but it's it's the smell the smell I cannot do it, it it's a very it's a very very strong like perfumey powdery smell I just cannot stand the smell and for it to be on my head like all day uh, no, no if this came in like unscented or something I probably would like it because this is really popular but I cannot do the smell it's really really bad definitely not repurchasing this one next I have the Moroccan oil dry shampoo this one is in the light tones and this one's kind of weird because it kind of sprays out purple like it's kind of trying to like tone your hair in a dry shampoo I don't know I would not repurchase this because it's pretty expensive and this is just like the mini one and it's pretty expensive there's definitely drugstore dry shampoos that work better than this and are way 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 cheaper um but yeah nothing too special about this so I won't be repurchasing okay this is my other dry shampoo and I'm sure all of you know what this is this is the Batiste dry shampoo this one is in the coconut and exotic tropical okay hold on I like this okay but I don't <laughs> okay it works really really well the only thing I don't like about it like it it smells super good and this is like by far the most popular dry shampoo in the drugstore maybe like in general the, the one thing that I didn't like about it was it sprays powder everywhere it is so extremely powdery that I just can't do it I can't I mean it really really works like it soaks up all your oil it makes your hair very voluminous and it works really really well but the like I was I used it you know fluffed it up and after I used it I looked down on my bathroom counter and there was just powder everywhere I don't know maybe I got like a defective one I don't know does that happen to any of you guys I would really like to know because then I can maybe like try a different one maybe I got a defective one but it was crazy like it was so much powder everywhere it was it was just insane and like I sprayed it just once and it was just like a big poof cloud of powder I mean it was crazy but please let me know if that happens to any of you guys maybe I just caught a weird one um I want to repurchase it again maybe <laughs> I have one of these little samples the 100 point perk of the Alterna Caviar CC cream this is the leave-in conditioner that I absolutely love and I recently got in a full size of it so I definitely have repurchased this this is just so good it's like a really 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 amazing leave-in conditioner and I know I have my holy grail it's a 10 leave-in conditioner and I love mixing the two I just think they're like two perfect leave-in conditioners that work even better together I love them um, it smells really good alternate is such a good brand such a good hair care brand and yeah I just really really love this okay so that's all the hair stuff I have the lush ocean salt face and body scrub um okay I got this because a lady at Lush took my hand and she tried it on uh and like tested it on my hand and I was like like really blown away um but then when I got home and was using it on my face and my body it just wasn't as impressive um I definitely like won't repurchase this because I absolutely love my cup of coffee 
scrub way more and I think it um it exfoliates a lot more than the ocean salt does maybe if you have like sensitive skin and you don't want such an abrasive exfoliator uh, the ocean salt would definitely be for you it's like much more creamy and it does have some like pieces in it but it, it's good it's good I just I just don't think I'll be repurchasing this but I will definitely be repurchasing this one. I have two big sizes of the Lush Cup of Coffee uh, face and body mask. And then I have a little one. This one I was using for travel. I absolutely love this. I actually have not repurchased this yet. And oh my gosh, I have been missing it so bad. Like, I, I have to go and get another one. I just haven't had the time yet. Um, I absolutely love this. I will always repurchase this it's such a good like it's called a mask but to me i kind of use it as a scrub like a scrub exfoliator but then i leave it on like as a mask and i like use it like all over my arms sometimes my body oh my gosh it's such a good product i love it so much so good repurchasing always and then i have another lush product this is the lord of misrule shower cream and i recently uh showed this in my fall favorites video i'll link it down below if you haven't seen it yet um i absolutely love this it's um such a scent that i would never usually go for it's like the opposite of fruity apples but i really really like it it's like an earthy warm patchouli <laughs> which is like the absolute opposite of what I normally use but on my skin and after about like uh, five minutes of being on my skin it smells so good my girlfriend does not like this smell um, she says it smells like like dirt <laughs> but whatever I like it and I if I can get this still at Lush I definitely will repurchase this if not I would definitely repurchase it next year so good I really really love this deodorant i have my favorite deodorant i have already repurchased this this is the secret clinical strength smooth solid in the stress response scent and i know that i have talked about like going with the natural deodorants and i still use those sometimes when you just need that like boost of yummy like scent this is just what I go for. It's so good. Um, it's not like I need the clinical strength deodorant. I just love this smell. It's just very, very like light, fresh, crisp, fruity. I love this so much. Uh, it's so good. I already repurchased this. I have a Clarisonic brush head. This is the acne one, I think. The, the green one. I think this is the acne one. But definitely always will we be purchasing the Clarisonic brush heads love 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 these I think yeah I already have I, I got four of them at in my last Ulta haul so good love these the best yes 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 <laughs> oh speaking of deodorant I have another deodorant this one is the degree motion sense dry spray this is like the spray kind um obviously the reason why I don't like this and I don't know what I was thinking in the store, but it must have smelled different in the store. I don't know, but it, I do not like this scent. This is the shower clean. It, 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 it smells like, oh, like a old person's bathroom. I don't know. It smells bad. It's like very, 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 very powdery, like baby powder, but like worse than baby powder. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> sorry if you like it. Uh, will not be repurchasing this. Um, yeah. Okay. I went through a hair tie thingy. This is, um, okay. This is what it looks like. This is, um, hair ties. And um, these are my absolute favorite hair ties. These are from CVS, the Beauty 360 Ponytailers Medium Hold All Day Wear. They look like this and they have um, different colors to match your hair. And I absolutely love these. I have definitely repurchased this. And what I love about it is, I don't know if you can tell, but the top half is kind of different color than the bottom. The top half is like my favorite. It almost has like an extra, like stretchiness to it than the regular hair looking hair ties i don't know but i absolutely love these they don't 
damage my hair at all. They don't really like crink my hair. I just love these and they're really, really cheap. They're always on sale at CVS. So good. Love it. Oh, I have two more hair stuff. Okay. I have my hair dye. This is the hair dye that I use. This is the Clairol Professional Cream, the permanent hair color in High Lift Cool Blonde 12A. And oh my gosh, dyeing my own hair has been such, such a journey. And I'm still on that journey. I'm still trying to get it right. Dyeing your own hair blonde is so difficult. And I think when I finally get it right, I would love to do a video on it. For the longest time, I was getting hair dye that was like golden blonde, um, light blonde, caramel blonde. And I was like, why is my hair not like lifting high enough? But I finally realized after doing more research and trial and error that, um, girl, you need to get like ashy. You need to get cool blonde. Like you need to get high lift. Like there's just so much to it. And also the toners, the toner has to be right. You know, the, Okay, so, but this is the one that I use, and I've been loving it for a really long time. But yeah, I definitely have already repurchased these. I really, really like the Clairol brand. And then I have another, like, hair product. These are actually hair growth pills, like hair growth vitamins. This is called the Viviscal Hair Growth, like, program. And um, I really like this. I really, really think this works. Um, I also take biotin and I've been taking biotin on and off for like years now and I do think biotin is really really good for your nails um, but this is specifically for your hair and I really really do think it works uh, you take it twice a day after a meal and they say to really really see like amazing results to do um, like three boxes of these or two to three boxes of these and um, you can get this now at CVS, at Target I saw. You can get this at Ulta now. I first found out about this because I was um, there was a girl that I follow and she has was using it and she was kind of documenting her process and her hair grew. Like she kind of had really, really damaged, like thinning hair and this and this was the only thing that she did and it worked on her and I really do think it worked on me so I've only gone through one box and I have I have started the second box but the thing that I've noticed the most about this so far is there is a ton less fallout of my hair and definitely less fallout when I'm in the shower oh my gosh there was a lot of fallout like when I would be washing my hair and everything but this I really think is the reason why I have like barely any follow anymore. I mean, I really think this is good. It has a lot, a lot of good ingredients in it. It does have biotin as calcium, iron, zinc, uh, vitamin C, niacin, such good stuff. I really, really love this. I really think it works and I'm excited to see how much better it can do for my hair. I have two other like vitamins. The first one I have is the Nature Made Magnesium. This is the 250 milligram. I absolutely love magnesium okay i really really love magnesium for a lot of reasons so magnesium is pretty much like a natural muscle relaxer and for me it really really relaxes me i love taking this like at night like before i go to bed it's very soothing very relaxing and it definitely definitely works um, for me, I only take 250. If you take too much of magnesium, your body will tell you and you'll have diarrhea. <laughs> so 250 is the perfect amount for me. It also does amazing things for like uh, your muscle and your heart function and your nerves and a lot, a lot of other benefits. I definitely have repurchased this, yeah. The next thing I have is from the vitamin shop. This is the BioCell Collagen 2 with hyaluronic acid. This is a um, thousand milligrams. And I definitely really, really like this. I need to repurchase this. I haven't yet. It, now that it's like fall and getting into winter and it's getting really, really dry, what hyaluronic acid does is it pulls moisture from the air and it goes into your skin. It's 
really amazing. Collagen is also really, really good for your skin um, and good for your bones and joints and everything. I really like this. I have a she mask that I've used from Innisfree. This is the Aloe Mask. Absolutely love Innisfree. I love their sheet masks so much. These are super, super cheap. I talked about these in my uh, fall favorites video. I used the Aloe one uh, one day because my skin was like kind of red and irritated for some reason. I can't remember why, but I put this on and oh my gosh, it was so cooling, so refreshing, so soothing. Love this one. I definitely will repurchase the Aloe one and the other ones that they have too. I love Innisfree masks. Mm. I'm sure you recognize this. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is like the first mask that they ever came out with. And for me, I surprisingly did not like this. But hold on. I, oh my God, it smells weird. <laughs> I surprisingly did not like this, but I think there's a reason. But I think the reason is because I got this on Amazon. <laughs> and I think this must be like not real or it must be fake or something. I don't know because every single person that's ever tried this that I have heard like absolutely loves this. Like absolutely like is like their holy grail mask but I just didn't like it and I am convinced it's because I got it on Amazon and it must be fake or something. So I definitely want to repurchase this in the future but yeah I kind of stopped using it and don't like this one. So I have this and I have this and I'm sure some of you will know what these are but these are the Tony Moly peach and apple lotions I was so incredibly disappointed with these oh my gosh I'm still so disappointed and I got these a long long time ago back when these like first came out they were so incredibly popular they would sell out everywhere I think I finally ended up finding these at Urban Outfitters I think the peach one it smells incredible the thing that disappointed me about these is not the smell they both smell absolutely delicious incredible perfect but what happens is for me at least when I put this on my skin the scent completely goes away like the smell it smells so good. It smells like the most delicious, juicy peach lotion I've ever smelled. When I rub this into my skin, I don't know, something happens. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's me. I don't know what. But the smell, this delicious smell, just completely like evaporates and you can't smell it at all. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. Does anybody have these? Have you ever experienced this? Please let me know. Um, but yeah so disappointed with the peach one and I was so hoping that the apple one wouldn't be the same but it's the same completely just disappears can't smell any apple and you know how much I was like rooting for this it smells so good it's I can't even smell anymore because I'm so upset <laughs> totally not repurchasing these Ugh. I have four chapstick lip balm things okay first of course my Carmex I I'm pretty sure I have said this before in a video but Carmex have has finally after years and years and years they have finally reformulated their new formula back to kind of the old original formula I don't know what they did but they did something where it's back to the original and I could not be more happy so every single time I see Carmex like in the store I am just I, I, I buy as much as I can because I'm still scared that they're gonna like reformulate it again and it's gonna be back to the horrible one. Love Carmex forever. And then I have this um, Soft Lips Cube lip balm, kind of like the EOS. But yeah, this was, it was horrible. It smells cheap, it, it didn't work, N no moisture, horrible, just definitely not repurchasing this one. I have like two really random lip balms. These are from David's Tea of all places. They, I think over the Christmas holiday, like last Christmas, they had um, 
lip balms for sale like lip balms and lotions like little mini ones this one is in honey crisp apple and this one is white nectarine i had such such high hopes for these they smell horrible they smell really really weird they smell super super weird this one doesn't smell like an apple and this one doesn't smell like a nectarine they kind of smell similar it's just a weird like fruity smell no my all-time favorite moisturizer the clinique moisture surge in this little like travel size um absolutely love this moisturizer all-time favorite holy grail uh definitely already repurchased mm. i have a package of floss <laughs> This is the Gum Professional Clean Flossers. Now, I absolutely love the flossers way more than like the string dental floss. You know, nobody really likes to floss except my mom, like of course. But these flossers definitely help me floss more. I put this on my like side table in the living room and I kind of, I just floss like when I'm watching TV and it just helps me and it reminds me to floss um because like who likes flossing whatever but yeah i just really like the flossers um they're easy and then also i don't like like wrapping the floss around my fingers it's just a i just really the flossers are a lot more convenient and they are like cleaner i don't know i just really like these i have already or purchased these i have two makeup things the first one is my holy grail makeup setting spray the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray this is such a good makeup setting spray it's like the best that i've ever used um yeah definitely already or purchased this so good the best the best and then i have something from mac this is the mac prep and prime highlighter like concealer thing uh in radiant in radiant rose and i did not like this because it oxidized on my skin like crazy like it went on super pretty and it does like um like it blends in good and it's a good product but i don't know on me it just oxidized and it went like um it's a radiant rose so it's kind of pinky i it, it oxidized to like a really like kind of orange and it just didn't work on me it didn't look good so yeah kind of disappointed but not gonna repurchase this okay and i cannot have an empties video without i don't know why i keep including these but i can't have an empties video without these freaking laundry beads i have four things of these downy unstoppables uh in the fresh scent i absolutely i absolutely love these they make your laundry smell so good they come in like a ton of different scents now and yeah i really like these i really i really like these okay that's it those are all the things that i've gone through since my last empties video if you guys like want me to do empties videos maybe like once a month or more you know frequent I'll totally do that. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for laughing with me or laughing at me. Either way, I hope you have a good day. Bye! Testing for me to do it. Do it, do it. So, uh, okay, I have a, a thingy that okay, I went through a... Uh, what the f I definitely have already be, but yeah, I definitely will wear tons and tons of different fla flavors. Oh my God, Vivascal. Woo!